My first order of business tonight was to move these, the glass that was sitting over here in this corner. This first quarter part of the makeover is coming to completion. There still is a lot more work to do. I've got a lot more stuff, let me say, uh, still in the shop. And all this molding has to be moved. The molding racks have to be taken down. Plenty of work for me to do. We'll try to get it done. <laughs> the one really cool thing that uh, my son does, Jonathan, is he makes these origami uh, cranes and uh, they're the best. And what he does is he leaves them around uh, for the sign of, um, I think just love and uh, good luck and prosperous. And I just found one in my garage and I'm gonna keep it in my garage. Thank you, Jonathan. So this is, uh, this is where I'm at right here. Uh, it is rackless. It's, it's not rackless, it's racked with no molding. That's what it is. Racked with no molding. The next phase is to put this out in the trailer. I've gotta make a rack out in the trailer so that it'll fit. Cause right now it ain't gonna pile up, you know? It's not gonna pile nor like a, it would in a rack. So that's why I'm doing a rack. wanted to show you the uh, the final on the rack I'm gonna probably put more up in here I need to probably tie it off that's a good idea is just tie this off once I have um, some stuff on top it's it's pretty sturdy but 
I don't want it to uh, to fall anyway. We're not moving this trailer, so that's not an issue. It's just going to sit here. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're getting there. All right. So next phase is just this bundle of stuff. Clean the uh, counters off. Maybe get some of the this type of stuff away, and uh, and then start ripping, ripping this off, ripping all the drywall off. Still some work to do, making progress though. Product shot that I did for ST Preston's in Greenport 40 years ago. Mock-up for my wine poster, 1990 I did it, family. But I couldn't find the picture. It was, I, it's like the, the shoemaker's kids don't have any shoes. Well, the photographer's family just gets a four by five in a big frame. That's it. just one of my photos. I don't even know. It's unique. Winslow Homer. Not sure where or why. Okay, this is me done in 1966. 1966. It's unique. It's me as an angel, angel and a devil. No, angel and a devil. There's the tail. Keep it. Doll's head hanging in this rigging for some reason. I don't know why. Bachelor of, of Arts, gotta keep that one. I did go to college, I got edumacated. When I did my wine poster at Bedell's, the second one, the Dell version of all of the, uh, the wines that they had of that year. It's unique. Who are those guys? Good band, went up to the uh, OCC uh, Orange County Chopper with them and they played up there, had a blast. You know what? It's hard throwing your kids in the garbage. This frame is all another riding poster, riding their metal. I'm gonna hang them around the uh, the new shop. This one was the better shot out of that same day with the doll's head hanging in the rigging. Weird, right? This was a special frame I made for a contest, a competition. This was from the quarry upstate New York on the, um, where the cabin is. Posted on my Instagram, and uh, this was when I was in the uh, East End Photographers Group back in 1990, 92. The square, kind of like me, kind of square. This is shot at uh, Bedell Cellars. This is gonna be fun too, because this part, I haven't been through in a while. I volunteered for, for Okinos. There am I, I'm right there. And this is the crew, we were, um, they were releasing a whale, and I was the photographer on the uh, event. Greg Rivara. Ugh. This is the TV that's gonna go in here. My cousin Frank, his artwork. Andy and Kenny. Again, can't get rid of it. Bad frame. And this was for my mom and Mark when they had their B&B. Can't get rid of it. This is the updated version of the wine poster. The same material, so that's for dry mapping. And when you put the 80s, 90s, it's uh, Gloucester. Got it. About two and a half more panels left to go, and I will be completely done with the uh, removal of the sheetrock. We got to go back and get the uh, all of the screws. There's a bunch of them, and those have just come out. You know, they're not in too far. So, but did a little bit of wiring and. Uh, Trying to go by code and, and do it right. 
uh, and then uh, get rid of what was here prior to that and uh, off we go. <laughs> 